Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this lecture is about uh, differential equations of higher order. So, for example, uh, we have a differential equation of this type uh, d square y by dx square minus 5 times dy by dx plus 6y is equal to e raised to the power 4x. One thing I'm going to uh, tell you that uh, such type of operators we are going to utilize d by dx we denote by capital D, d square by dx square by capital D square and so on dm by dx raised to power m is equal to d raised to power m. Now for example if we write the given differential equation in operator form it will look like d square y minus 5 dy plus 6y is equal to e raised to power 4x. Taking common y we get like that. Then we will read this uh, as f of d means function of d f of d on y equal to f of x f of d value is d square minus 5 d plus 6 whereas f of x is e raised to power 4x so how we are going to read it we are going to read it f of d on y equal to f of x f of d on y is equal to f of x is called linear differential equation with constant coefficients if we write it in this way then we will call it a linear differential equation with constant coefficients f of d is equal to 0 is called associated homogeneous equation and f of m is equal to 0 is called auxiliary equation to find complete solution of f of d and y is equal to f of x uh, we suppose that y, y equal to complementary function per plus particular integral be the complete solution so there are two uh, terms to find the complete solution one is complementary function another is particular integral i may uh, write the solution in terms of yc which is complementary function solution and yp which is particular integral solution so complementary function uh, can be obtained the solution complementary function solution can be obtained by this way let f of d on y c is equal to 0 so we need to find the roots of the auxiliary equation f of m is equal to 0 and uh, this can be obtained by the following table so once uh, you need to understand this one uh, depending on the roots of the auxiliary equation how we can find the complementary function if the roots of the auxiliary equation are different say m1 and m2 for example then complementary function will be c1 e raised to power m1x plus c2 e raised to power m2x plus so on depending on the number of the roots if the complementary <coughs> uh, if the roots of the auxiliary equations are same for example m then we write the complementary function solution as c1 plus c2x plus so on into rest uh, into e raised to power m time x this m is the same root actually depending how much frequently it is occurring if it is two time occurring then you you are going to write c1 plus c2x into e raised to power same times x okay if it is three times occurring the same root then you have to add the third term c3x square and so on then the complex root as well complex roots can be in the form of alpha plus minus iota beta so the complementary function solution will be e raised to power alpha x time c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x uh, beta is the imaginary part which which is which are in the argument of cos and sine, and alpha is the real part which is in the power of exponential function so now the second step is that how to find the particular integral for particular integral we need to find uh, we need to write f of d on y is equal to f of x in this way so it will be 1 is equal to y is equal to 1 over f of d times f of x so this 1 over f of d is called inverse operator method it's the inverse operator so we are going to find particular integral by 1 over times f of d times f of x now the right hand side depends on f of x so we have the following types number one is the right side can be exponential so the first case is exponential the second is sine cos case third is polynomial case and the fourth is 
the product case let's say we have exponential case in exponential case uh, to find particular integral we when f of x is e raised to power x simply you have to do it you, you are going to replace the capital D by a where in 1 over f of d times f of a, e raised to power x you are going to replace uh, d by a in f of d so if it becomes non-zero then that is the solution but uh, when uh, failure of exponential case what happened when f of x uh, when this f of d becomes zero by replacing d with a so this is called failure of exponential case when f of d becomes zero by replacing d with a in this case first factorize f of d then replace d by a in that factor which does not become zero and for the other factor use the following formula what is that formula we are going to use this one x times 1 over non-zero factor times d by capital D of the other factor times e raised to power x this is the formula you are going to utilize if denominator is again zero then repeat the above process for example I am going to discuss uh, this uh, example d square y by dx square minus 3 times dy by dx plus 2y is equal to 4 plus 3 e raised to power 5x you write in the operator form like that so it becomes d square minus 3d plus 2 times y is equal to f of x so it becomes f of d and y is equal to f of x uh, how to find uh, you write f of d is equal to d square minus 3d plus 2 so uh, and f of x is 4 plus 3 e raised to the power 5x the complete solution is complementary function plus particular integral now first we need to find the complementary function for that you need to factorize the auxiliary equation and for that I am going to write m square minus 3m plus 2 equal to 0 simply uh, renaming d by m so it becomes m square minus 3m plus 2 equal to 0 factorize this one and the roots are coming are m is equal to 1 2 so the roots are different I can write the complementary function solution as c1 e raised to power 1x plus c2 e raised to power 2x this is one part of the solution to find the particular integral I need to write the uh, inverse operator technique and that is 1 over f of d times f of x I will write 1 over d square minus 3d plus 2 times if what is f of x f of x, f of x here given is 4 plus 3 e raised to the power 5x you split that uh, in terms of 4 and in terms of 3 e raised to the power 5x but 4 again we can write 4 times e raised to the power 0x because it doesn't affect it so you, you will make that exponential form so it will become 1 over d square minus 3d plus 2 times 4 e raised to power 0 x and the other term will be plus 1 over d square minus 3d plus 2 times 3 e raised to power 5 x. In the first term, uh, in the first term we are going to replace d with the, uh, d by 0 and in the second term we are going to replace d by 5. When we are going to replace it we get a complementary function as 2 plus 1 over 4 times e raised to power 5 x. Hence the complete solution is this way c1 e raised to power x plus c2 e raised to power 2 x plus 2 plus 1 over 4 e raised to power 5 uh, x this is the complete solution I'm going to discuss now the uh, failure case what happened when this uh, f of d becomes 0 so this is called the failure case in the failure case uh, you look over then you have to factorize it as I told you like earlier for example this is another problem d square plus 3d minus 4 times y is equal to 15 e raised to the power x now you carry on the same procedure and you will get the roots as minus 4 and 1 so complementary function solution will become c1 e raised to the power minus 4x plus c2 e raised to the power x now how to get particular integral solution you, you are going to write uh, the right side is 15 times e raised to the power x so it is exponential case so you need to write 1 over d square plus 3d minus 4 times 15 e raised to the power x simply when you are going to replace d with uh, d by 1 because the coefficient of the x in the in the exponential form is 1 so I am going to replace d by 1 so we get 1 plus 3 minus 4 which becomes 0 so what I am going to do I need to factorize the f of d so I will write d plus 4 times d minus 1 as you did it over here m plus 4 times m minus 1 equal to 0 so this you can write it simply m plus 4 times m minus 1 
So <coughs> d plus 4 times d minus 1. So 15 e raised to the power x. So what I told you that you are going to replace uh, d by 1 in that factor which does not become 0. So I'm going to write uh, instead of d plus 4 I'm going to write 1 plus 4. And since uh, d minus 1 it gives me 1 minus 1 which becomes 0 so I'm not going to replace d here in the second factor. So I will replace 1 by 1 plus 4 into d minus 1 times 15 e raised to the power x. This is one term I have done it. Now here again you have, you have to use the formula. Uh, in the other factor you have to I, as I told you you need to write the independent variable x times 1 over d by d d of d minus 1 the derivative of the other factor I'm using but I'm keeping independent variable x in the numerator and e raised to power x the same so when I'm going to write it because the derivative of d minus 1 is 1 so this will become 3x e raised to power x this is called the exponential case and hence the solution will become y is equal to c1 e raised to power minus 4x plus c2 e raised to power x plus 3x e raised to power x this is the required solution.